with the theme Solving the Challenges of Nigerian Maritime Students and Cadets. Captains of the maritime industry gathered in Lagos for the 10th annual AMSE conference to discuss our venues to move the maritime industry forward, thereby helping the growing maritime marshals focus on building a vibrant career path out of the various professional windows of the maritime industry. All the sense is to assure the problem, the challenges of maritime students and also to offer solutions so that there will be confidence, confidence on the part of the students that are undergoing maritime courses in Nigeria. Let government, like Nimasa, give for a scholarship. They do not go and talk to people who are sitting in the village. Look at those people that talk. Very brilliant talk. They, they need somebody to say, okay, I because of this man that has delivered a lecture, I give him a scholarship. Basically, keep encouraging them. You know, sometimes it can be quite frustrating in the maritime industry as it is right now. Uh, many of them go through the classroom trainings and maybe uh, whatever they need to do. Uh, but when they come out, they're not able to get their, their seat time or whatever the case may be. Uh, we need to also offer to them that even if you cannot get on board the first one, there are also alternatives for them to do. So, so the message of the day and the theme of this year is Germany because they have challenges. Now, in a, as a succession plan, if a mother is getting to a certain age in life because his children sit down and talk with her, tell them what is what and what is not, that is what we aim to achieve. So we want to listen to them, we want to hear their challenges. And we believe that after this meeting, we are going to be meet, having a meeting with the teaching and master because a whole lot of issues that affect cadets in the, the event had panelists taking turns to proffer solutions to the challenges maritime students are faced with during and upon graduation. It was in region um, at, with IME because we ratified um, several con uh, conventions with them during the STCW. So they have a core function of, of making um, CFR standards in Tewaluku. So that's where we are here today. We've seen uh, a, a massive influence of, of productivity in other nations. Your ability to say, oh, I want to learn this, I want to do this. No employer wants to hear about money yet, especially when you have never worked before. But because as a fresh graduate, one thing should be paramount in your mind is the position of learning. It's after you have learned, though with a salary less, but you have learned for a period of time, then you value yourself, put yourself on a scale. Then you will know your worth. Then you can now start talking about this is what I am worth. Without this, I cannot be employed. And that is a very, very big mistake that our fresh graduates and students, IT students, are doing. Lack of understanding on the right path. So, because if you are choosing marine engineering and you are not so good in maths, it's going to affect your career path or you are into nautical science and you are not so good in geography so before you enter into the industry you have to have a good mentorship or also understand the industry so well so but if you have to look at the uh, government part of the challenges the master has a very big part to play by giving our students CTEM after their uh, OND or after their HND Cash awards as well as certificates were presented to students who performed excellently at the essay competition. The first runner of Mrs. Daphne Shahoma, an expert in shipping management, too, and is a cash prize of 100,000 naira. Thank you. So please, don't go yet. The event was targeted at improving the maritime sector and building the confidence of maritime students in their chosen career path. Adobe Obiechina, NTA News.